It became a fixture during the pandemic, doctors and patients meeting virtually and corresponding online. And now more and more patients are sending emails to their doctors to ask health questions. Stephanie Bertini explains why those emails could now cost you. It's happening more and more. People emailing doctors to ask about anything from cold and flu symptoms to prescription refills. But this electronic correspondence could come with a bill, and that's something that's also happening more and more. I think that's ridiculous, honestly, because that should be something that is not, like, you shouldn't have to pay for an email. It's hard. It's, it's a two-way sword, right? You see both sides? Both sides. I see how patients cannot afford it. And it's not fair, I get that. But I also see why the doctors would want to address the issue and be like, okay, we didn't be charged for the service. E-health visits grew in the pandemic for obvious reasons, and it's stuck. Now an increasing number of healthcare organizations, including hospitals, are billing for the correspondence. Dr. A.J. Holmgren is an assistant professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. And at the onset of the COVID pandemic, we saw a massive increase in the amount of secure messaging that patients were sending to their physicians on the order of 150% increase. So we have this massive volume of new work coming in that is, for the most part, prior to us being able to charge for this, uncompensated. Holmgren's name is on a recently published study by JAMA Network Open, a medical journal. The study found an association with a reduction in patient portal messaging, both threads and individual messages, was observed that may be attributable to awareness of the possibility of being billed. So it seems patients may be now using e-correspondence less if it means a fee. Here's what you should know billable under the law are messages that require at least five minutes of clinician time. So your physician has to spend some amount of time actively addressing your concerns and that require medical decision making. So nothing administrative.